Welcome to Spice Logic's Decision Tree software. Today, I'll demonstrate how to create a simple decision tree about a case where a patient is deciding if he or she should stay on medication or undergo surgery. Seeing is believing. Start the decision tree software and choose to begin with a decision node. Now, create two actions by selecting the decision node and clicking these flyover menu items. Double-click on the nodes to edit the text. Name these actions as Surgery and Medication. Now, think about the uncertainties. If you undergo surgery, there's a 70% chance of having a complete recovery, 20% chance of no improvement, and 10% chance of death. If you stay on your medication, you'll have a 40% chance of recovery and a 60% chance of no improvement. Select an action node and then from the flyover menu, select a chance node to create. Then from the chance node, you can create three events as I'm showing you now. To speed up the process, you can copy the chance node and paste it into the medication action. As medication does not risk death, you can simply select the dead node under the medication chance node and hit the delete key. Now is the time for setting probabilities. Click the question mark on the edge to open up the probability window. Then set the probabilities as you predict. Okay, we've now got a decision tree diagram. Let's set the payoff to the events. After setting the payoff, we will be able to calculate the expected utility of the decision strategy. Click this button for adding payoff. Now you have a choice of using cost effectiveness analysis or regular single or multiple criteria based analysis. If you're a healthcare student or professional, you may want to choose the cost effectiveness analysis. We have a dedicated video for cost effectiveness analysis, but for this demonstration, let's stick to a very simple subjective type payoff. So choose this regular multi-criteria payoff option. Choose maximize quality of life and then proceed. Make it a subjective type payoff. Okay, now you know that if you are recovered, your quality of life utility will be 100% or 1 on a 0 to 1 scale. So let's set it here. For a no recovery situation, you are indifferent, so let's set the utility to 50% or 0 0.5. And for the death scenario, of course, the utility is zero. In the same way, set the payoff for medication events. Okay, congratulations! You've got your first completely functional decision tree. Notice the tooltips on each node. You get all the metrics like expected utility, total payoff, etc. Notice that the expected utility of the surgery action is 0.8, which is higher than the expected utility of the medication action. Therefore, the surgery option is recommended. The recommended action is shown with the green edge. Add terminal nodes to each node to see the final payoff for each path. Let's browse this Options Analyzer panel. You are seeing various aspects of risk. You can choose to show additional metrics. A decision analysis is never complete until you perform a sensitivity analysis. Let's check what variable is significantly affecting the decision. This is a list of all sensitive variables sorted by most sensitive to least sensitive. 
The top most variable is the most sensitive variable that affects the decision significantly. Here we see that the probability of dying from surgery is the most sensitive variable. Naturally, the probability of death should play a significant role in a decision. If the probability of dying gets higher, we would want to avoid the surgery and stay on the medication option, right? Let's dive down more into this fact. Open the variable by clicking this chart button. Expand the Options Analyzer panel to see the recommended action as you change the probability of death. Notice that the green vertical bar reflects the current value of the variable. If the probability of death from surgery gets higher, it is recommended to stay on your medication. Finally, get a report in PDF and Excel. As I mentioned, this is a simple example of modeling a decision tree so that you can get started. This decision tree software can do a lot of things. We have separate videos for each feature, but for now, I hope you'll feel comfortable to start using the application. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to our help desk. Thank you for watching.